Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the SP hybridizations in terms of wave functions. Now here students, the wave function is very important. Okay, a linear combination, linear combination of pure yes and pz wave function, linear combination of yes, pz wave function in suitable proportion result in the strong 2SP hybrid wave function. When these two SP uh, wave functions are combining and they will form 2SP hybrid wave function. These are the 2SP hybrid wave functions. Psi1 equals A1 psi S plus B1 psi Pz. Now second wave function SP hybrid wave function is Psi2 equals to A2 psi S plus B2 psi Pz. Understanding students? So this is for the second SP hybrid wave function and this is what? First SP hybrid wave functions. Understanding students? Now just this is the equation 1 and this is what equation 2 understanding students now we are going to find the coefficient before psi s a1 is there before psi pz b1 is there for first sp hybrid wave function for second students you have uh, before psi s you have a2 and before psi pz you have b2 so these are the coefficient now what are these are coefficient students where a1 a2 b1 and b2 are mixed the coefficients they are how much it has been mixed that they will decide it so where a1 a2 b1 and b2 are mixed coefficients they are called as what mixed coefficient uh, we are going to apply how you are going to find the value of a1 a2 b1 b2 for that difference we are going to apply the normalization to both the wave functions we have to apply normalization to both the wave functions so students we have already seen what is the normalizations in last video we have already seen what is normalization integration of psi 1 square integration when you are going to integrate psi 1 square with respect to volume v when you integrate psi 1 square dv is always is 1 same is for second wave function students when you are going to integrate psi 2 square with respect to volume v it is also coming 1 now what happens students when you apply the orthogonality condition to both the wave function together multiple so integration of psi 1 and psi 2 with respect to volume d always is coming what 0 so orthogonality your value are, is getting integrated value you are getting 0 and for normalizations you are getting what psi 1 square and psi 2 square will always 1 so understanding students now students you since you know psi s is a spherical symmetry understanding because it is a spherical because of the spherical symmetry a1 square equal a2 square that is a, we are getting what half the square of coefficient of a1 and a2 square will always coming what half therefore a1 and a2 will be what 1 upon this square will go on that side will becomes root so 1 upon root 2 now what happens when you are applying normalization to equation 1 we have already shown when you apply normalization to the equation 1 the coefficient of the first wave function that is a1 square plus b1 square v equals to 1 because normalization we have already know that is the value is coming what 1 now students now here you got a1 a2 value that is 1 upon root 2 to whole square plus b1 square equals to 1 understanding now when you take the square of 1 upon root 2 it will always come 1 upon 2 understanding this is 1 upon 2 plus b1 square equals 1 so b1 square equals students what happens this half will go on that side that is 1 minus 1 upon 2 now 1 minus 1 upon 2 is what half only understanding so b1 square equals to 1 upon 2 now therefore what will be the value of b so this square will go on that side it will become square root square root of 2 square root of 1 will be 1 only so b1 value you got 1 upon root 2 understanding students now you got a1 and b1 understanding students same way students you know you have already seen orthogonality of the two, these two wave function that is integration of sin 1 psi 1 and psi 2 with respect to volume is 0 this you know so what happens students a1 and a2 plus b1 and b2 is also equals to what 0 understanding now put the value of a1 that is 1 upon root 2 a2 is also 1 upon root 2 plus it is as a plus now b1 now you have got 1 upon root 2 b2 now you have to find equals to 0 understanding students now what happens students this 1 upon root 2 1 upon root 2 multiply the root 2 into root 2 will be 2 plus will be as it is 1 upon root 2 will be as it is b2 will be as it is equals to 0 now what happens students this 1 upon root 2 will go on that side it will carry negative sign and here it is what positive when it will go to the on that side it will becomes negative no, how, how, minus 1 upon 2 so 1 upon root 2 into b2 will be what minus 1 upon 2 so b2 will be what students here it is multiplication this side will go it will be what division so what happens this denominator will come in numerator and numerator will come into denominator understanding now 2 you can write students to root 2 into root 2 now this root 2 will cancel with this root 2 only minus 1 upon root 2 is remaining so b2 value you also have got 
minus one upon root two. Understanding, students? Now, students, by substituting the values of a one, a two, b one, b two in equation one and two, we get. So you will get psi one equals to one upon root two psi s plus one upon root two psi p z. Now just take it out because these two are common. Now we have taken it out one upon root two. Now in bracket you are getting psi s plus psi p z. Understanding? So this is the first wave function. Now second is when psi two will be here one upon root two psi s minus one upon root two p z. So here you are getting what? One upon root two psi s minus p z. Understanding? Students? The S P orbital is stronger than the pure S and P atomic orbitals. Understanding from which it forms. Understanding students, the S P atomic orbital is stronger than pure S and P atomic orbitals. Now, when you take the ratio between psi P Z maximum upon psi P S max, you will get one upon root three upon root two. The value is always coming one upon nine three two. The bond strength connect this bond strength connect the S P orbital orbital will be one upon nine three two. Understanding because of the value is coming more than one one point nine three two. So this is the Relative bond strength of the sp hybrid orbitals. Now, what happens, students? What are the properties? The two sp hybrid orbitals are completely equivalent in energy. Sp hybrid orbitals is stronger than pure s and pure p orbitals because of the relative overlapping power is what one upon one point nine three two one point nine three two. The sp hybrid orbitals there is one larger lobe and one will be the smaller lobe due to the high degree of overlapping. And these are the properties of the Hybrid orbitals. Understanding, students. Now we are going to see the some example, students. First example, you have taken beryllium chloride. The formula is BeCl2. Now atomic number, students. Beryllium is four. The electronic configuration, you are knowing one s two, two s two, two p zero. Now because chlorine is also involved in the bonding, chlorine atomic number is seventeen. Electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p five. So here one electron is lacking. So here the elect three pi can be written as like this. Understanding? Now what happens, students? Beryllium in ground state, we have seen electronic combination one up one s two two s two two p zero, two s is what you can write like block diagram like this like this, so two s two you can return like this and two p zero there is no electron so all are what vacant. Now what happens students when the chlorine approaches towards the beryllium, so it will go to the excitation state. So beryllium excitation is state electronic combination is one s two two s one and two p one. So the electron will migrate, it will migrate here. And it will become 2s1 and it will become 2p1. Understanding students? Now they will mix and it will form the sp hybrid orbitals, atomic orbitals. Understanding these are the sp hybrid atomic orbitals of beryllium. Now what happens students? This we can show with the three-dimensional structure like this. This is the 2s1 pure atomic orbitals of beryllium combines with the 2p1 atomic orbitals of beryllium. This is the 2p1. Now when they will mix students, that means when they will go to the hybridizations. They will form the sp hybrid orbitals of beryllium like this. Now this sp hybrid orbitals of beryllium combines with two atomic orbitals of chlorine atom. This is the three p z atomic orbitals of chlorine students. When it will combine, it is what two in number. So these are the chlorine atomic orbitals students. They will overlap with the sp hybrid atomic orbitals of beryllium and it will form the linear geometry. Understanding? The when you see the bond angle students, it is one eighty degree. Understanding students, so bond angle between chlorine, bromine, beryllium, and chlorine is what 180 degree, and it will form sigma bond. Now students, when you see the when you see the wave function for two sp hybrid atomic orbitals, it is like this: psi one is equals to one upon root two psi s plus p z, and psi two equals one upon root two psi s minus p z. So these are the two sp hybrid atomic orbitals. Understanding in terms of wave function, these are very important for the examination point of view. To write students, this is in examination they are asking for eight marks questions. So this way you have to proceed. Understanding this is very important, students. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.